Hi, I'm Torben Janssen from thoughtsonjava.org with a new Hibernate tip. This time I will show you how you can calculate and cache the values of non-persistent entity attributes. A typical example for such an attribute is the age of a person. You probably want to model it as an entity attribute because it's part of your domain model. But it isn't a good idea to persist it in the database because you would need to update it on a regular basis. It's better to persist the date of birth and calculate the age when you need it. There are different ways to provide a calculated value to the user of the entity. You can use a formula to provide an SQL expression which returns the value. You can use field access and calculate the value in a getter method. And you can use a transient entity attribute which stores the calculated value without persisting it in the database. I already explained option 1 in a previous video and will therefore focus on option 2 and 3. Option 2 is easy to implement. When you use field access, you can add additional getter methods to your entity. You can, for example, add a getH method that calculates and returns the age of the author. This approach requires you to calculate the value for each call of the getH method and is therefore not a good solution for complex calculations. Here you can see basically the same author entity and getH method as I showed you on the slide. I just added this log statement so that I can show you the call of this method in the log file. Hibernate uses field access to fill the entity attributes and ignores the getter methods. You therefore don't need to add any mapping annotations to this method. When I now fetch an author entity from the database, Hibernate will map all database columns to the entity attributes and I can use the date of birth attribute to calculate the age in the getH method. You can see the SQL select statement and the log messages written by the getH method here. This approach calculates the age of the author for each call of the getH method. That's probably fine because it's a quick and easy calculation. But that's not always the case. You sometimes need to perform more complex operations to calculate a value. In these situations, you might want to cache the calculated value in a transient entity attribute. This approach requires more code but allows you to store the calculated value in an entity attribute without persisting it. The transient annotation tells Hibernate and any other JPA implementation to ignore the attribute when writing or reading the entity. You can therefore use the age attribute in the getH method to store the calculation result after it was calculated. This can be useful if you need to perform a complex calculation that you don't want to repeat for each call. I did some changes to the author entity for this second example so that it matches the code snippet on the last slide. I added the age attribute and annotated it with transient so that Hibernate ignores it for all database operations. And I added this if statement to the getH method so that the value of the age attribute gets only calculated when it's null. Let's use this entity in the same test case as I showed you in the previous example. As you can see here, Hibernate ignored the age attribute when it created the SQL select statement. It therefore is null when I call the getH method for the first time and it gets calculated. When I call the method again, the age attribute got already initialized and there's no need to calculate it again. Okay, that's it for today. 
If you want to learn more about Hibernate, you should join the free Thoughts on Java library. It gives you free access to a lot of member-only content, like an ebook about Java 8 support in Hibernate, lots of cheat sheets and a video course. I'll add the link to it to the video description below. See you next week for a new Hibernate tip and if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below.